Yes, um, we have a question from Blihem. Um, hi, are you going to discuss in this course how to handle external challenges such as customers cutting budget and significantly reducing orders? Yes, for sure. That's, yeah, for sure. Yes, we do that. It's important, of course, <laughs> to, to, to increase your margins and to increase your, yeah, your sales, your performance. Absolutely, we will do that, Graham. Absolutely. May I, may I just um, add, add to that answer, Roland? Uh, Briham, um, if you notice in the beginning, we were saying that there are things that we, we can control and the things that we cannot control. And of course, this is part of the way we are learning it. If, if your clients are reducing the budget and customer cutting down the budget and significantly reducing the orders and so on, and this is something that we will be all facing in the coming um, 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 few months where all the companies are trying to reduce the cost. So whatever there is a chance to uh, cut orders or to stop ordering or something like that, they will do it. And, um, and yes, these are the things that we cannot control. So uh, this is the most important thing is that how to focus on the things that we can control now. So uh, if your clients are doing that, what are, the, what are your strategies and what are your tactics that you're going to be taking in order to um, offset this kind of reduction? What else that you can do? How can you shift your product to fit into the new elements of the business now? Because now it, things are different. We were delivering all these kind of modules face-to-face, -face, for example. And now we're doing this consultancy online and we're doing this um, training online and we're creating the platform to do, to do that. So this is the idea of how we can shift quickly enough and respond to the disruption that is happening in the world so that you can um, be able to offer your clients something that they definitely want to buy and it is matching the need of what they have right now. And, and this is something that we will learn from the mindset of being able to control, um, to focus on the things that we can control and, and not to get disrupted with the uh, things that we cannot control. Absolutely. That's what, that's what you're going to learn in the course, yeah? as, as Mohamed said. Yeah. It's you will learn to distinguish what you can control and what you can't control. And, and, and this is really critical. Better pay attention because when you focus on things you can't control, you or your team are playing trauma. You're playing trauma. You get and 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 the, the the challenge is that you get in a negative content loop, yeah. And then the whole motivation is going down, 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 down. It's very different. It's easy to get out as as when you recognize what's going on, yeah. It's easy, but that's all what you learn in, uh, in the course to distinguish that, not only for you but also for each uh, team member. Yeah, and working as what I call on the on the success stuff. So you will learn what, what triggers people to get in the negative content loop, how you recognize that you that you yourself or your team members are in a ne negative content loop. You will learn that, and then you will learn strategies how to get out of it, and stay focused, work on task again, and what you need to be successful. That's what you're going to learn in this course.